Go ahead and let's go first. Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and this is Josh. Hi. And today we're talking about the H quad. More importantly, the knuckles. They yeah. punch you in the face with no, awesome. No, I, I'm, right. gonna, I'm gonna go show over our boss for a second, okay? Oh gosh. Chad Capper had a vision. It's about to get awkward. It was an awesome vision. He had a vision where people could take sticks and little brackets and build things with these brackets. He had a vision to take common pieces that people could configure in different ways to make multi-rotors. Yeah. The Anycopter was born that way, you know, where you can make any configuration you want. Yeah. This is his next step and next design in the Roner Bone series called Knuckles. So, with all these different cutouts here, you have yeah. multiple different options for different yep. configurations. You can fit a multitude of uh, different uh, platforms. Yeah. Um, it has the, the squares, yeah, it opens up. Yes. Like, but, like Open Pilot's really small, KK2 is a little bit bigger. Yeah. Um, you have plenty of surface area for that. Lots of options. And you can configure in any way you want. Yeah, and, and you can set up you can set up the arms in different ways. Yes, using the knuckles. Knuckles. The neat thing about the knuckles is it obviously incentivizes you to do right angle things. He went back to the H quad design, which was quite a while ago. Quite a while. Whiles. Quite a while ago. Several while. It was a ago. long while ago, and uh, he he brought the H quad back. But also, I think he made it much better. This is small. This is rugged. And, and you're not going to go out and... Uh, it's not for your smooth yes. FPV this shots. This is go through the woods, bang it into stuff. This is this raw. Is, this, this is, is off-roading. But the goal is, is just to have a great experience with flying and, and to basically get your, your learning bug in and to get your fun out of your system. So this is really small. Crazy small. Could it be any smaller? It, it could be, but the goal was is to keep it, you know, there's a common prop size, which is eight inch. Yeah. And there's a common boom size we use, which is 10 inch. So we try to come up with any combinations we can keep into that. The motor mounts are a common 13, 370 straights. Uh, and for the T-Copter, it's uh, 13 370 tilt. So you don't want to go too crazy, too big. But also you can see David Vindestol's uh, camera tray. Yeah. Mounts up beautifully. That's and, nice. Uh, yeah, there's lots of different configurations. Uh, you know Alex, right? Yeah. He's actually, this is his, and he actually has his dial in to do aerobatics. Nice. He, he flies it like a, an actual H. He's always rubbing it and saying, this is an I-quad, this is an H-quad. Uh -huh. He flies it like this. Nice. There's really no rules to these things. You can do it any configuration you want. But also, this thing is meant to kind of be like a, a backpack multi-rotor. Yeah. Um, do you ever see like our, our cases? We can't fit anything in these things. But this sucker. Are you serious? It'll, it'll drop in. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. It'll actually cool. fit in there. So. And then you can turn this into a backpack. I guess Put so. some straps on it. How about a we'll suitcase a multicopter? The goal is, is you can easily throw it in the back of your car. You can have some fun with it. Right. And speaking of fun, we're going to take these things out into the woods in different locations and have some fun with it. So check it out. Let's all take it easy. <laughs> Hit a tree. <laughs> Hold on, I might be okay. Oh, I'm back up. I had a leaf in my eye. Ah, the mosquito is eating my face. Okay, I'm gonna pass right underneath you. Okay. You see me? Yep. I'm watching Josh. There's a big groundhog hole next to him. Let's push him in. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh, you almost hit me. Oh, whoa, was that your prop one? Yeah, I'm sure it was. Oh, wow, you were heavy. Get him, get Josh. He's running. There's a tree there. That <laughs> scared me a little. How we roll in the Shire. There's your sound bite. I hit a tree. I, oh, there. <laughs> I mean, I, I hit a tree. <laughs> yeah. <I saw> <laughs> happy with it. And the uh, Ardu pilot needs more tweaking. I, I can't lie about that, but uh, beyond that, it flies really How nice. Close was I? What was that? My KK2 board exploded. My whole radio came off. I mean, I hit him hard. I, he came out of nowhere. These things are like the Tonka trucks of multi <laughs> They really are back road vehicles, aren't they? Yeah. Frankly, the Blue Wonders are probably one of the best platforms for these little multi rotors. Uh, they're durable, they're hard to break, they're very efficient. I like them. Yeah. So, if, as far as the straights, if you're wondering what to go with, the Blue Wonders, Laser Toy sells them really cheap. Um, that's the one for you. And if you crash it, 
yeah. crashing hard, probably one of the first things to go would be the boom, but you can get that anywhere. The neat thing about this is when we go out and test fly these things, we fly them hard, we crash them hard, and yeah, generally the booms were the ones that go uh, first. The knuckles stayed in great shape, and, and the booms are the most common material, so you want things that are easy to get a hold of, and also easy to field repair. Right. So yeah, drill up some more, and, uh, and you're back in the air in no time. But there's also going to be kits for this at the store, so check out the store. I'm not sure what we're going to name it, it's probably going to be Rotor Bones, Knuckles, H Quad, or... But the knuckles are available now. Knuckles are available as of right now. Go get your knuckles. Go check them out. All right, well, mm -hmm. thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sponsoring Flight Test. When you go to the Flight Test store and get a speed build kit, some knuckles, or even some new Flight Test Brand shirts. New. So the 2013 t-shirt is now in our stores. We still have a few of the 2012, the older logos ones, but mm -hmm. a lot of sizes are gone now because we're selling out of those quickly. So when you pick up that stuff, you're helping us do what we do, so thank you. Yeah, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. You're making this possible for us. All right, we'll see you guys next time. All right, let's get you up, man. All right, let's do it. Oh, you've really angered him now. I can just imagine this poor thing seeing this thing. It's like, this is it. This is the last one. <laughs>